Hey friends, hey Joel. So I wanted to share this with you. This was actually a session that I did the day before yesterday and um, I felt that it was very significant and very important perhaps to many of us out there and uh, wanted to share. So we have a situation with a client who um, feels basically that it is not possible to be whole unless he is actually in a, in a relationship. So a lot of healing has been done to be able to release this investment in many, many ways. Um, and although um, some alleviation of his suffering had been achieved, let's say that um, the results that we sought weren't fully accomplished. And um, I think it's safe to say that it's not because of the, the quality of the healing work that was being done with the particular gentleman. It's more to do with um, what it is that he was allowing or not allowing to be done on a, on a very, very deep level almost beyond a soul level, even, even the, it was beyond, beyond soul, it was um, so, so deep that it could not be corrected. So um, what we did then was to actually spend the rest of the session to um, make a connection with uh, what it is that's causing this distress. So we had more superficial levels of this distress addressed but uh, then in this session, we were um, guided and advised to go further. And so what came through in my investigation was uh, because of his starseed connection to the Pleiades, which some of you may also be having that connection. I think it's, um, um, I won't say the word popular, even though it is, but there are a lot of people who do actually have that connection, which is the reason why I'm sharing that with you today. So in this case, it was the Pleiades connection. And so um, what I then explained to the client was that he had this connection and it is because of this connection that he couldn't alleviate fully his suffering, which is uh, connected to not being able to feel whole outside of a relationship. So um, I made that connection, made sure the connection was the correct one because sometimes um, other frequencies may actually come through. So I did make eventually um, a connection with the um, Pleiades and the Pleiadians and eventually after a few moments a female kind of figure actually came, came forward, um, bluish in colour uh, I wasn't actually aware that blue was their thing, but then after the session doing a bit of research, I realized that uh, that's a color that's associated to the Pleiades and Pleiadians. And so um, a female figure comes forward and we begin to exchange um, a, a communication, like a question and answer kind of communication. And this is how it unfolded. It begins with her speaking first and she said this all we want to do is to make a you is to make utopian relationships upon your planet so she was making um, more of a collective reference now to the planet earth and the nature of our relationships which are pretty much a shambles I would say for the most part on this planet we do not want I'm going to say him, I'm not going to use his name. We do not want him to suffer. It is not our intention that he suffers. So then my question uh, was this, how then can we alleviate his suffering? And she says this, tell him we love him unconditionally and that we always will. That whilst he seeks love to remember in fact that he is love, Tell him that this is who we are and this is who he is, that is, unconditional love. Tell him to keep creating the aura of love in all that he sees, all that he does, all that he thinks and all that he feels. As a result, he will receive the love that he seeks, but at the same time, he must not be waiting for this. 
He has to be the love that he seeks. We cannot change his investment because I did ask what about his investment and not being able to break free of his investment of having to be two in order to feel oneness. And she says, we cannot change this investment. He is there to share his essence and he will when the time is right. Hey, how are you, Bernie? What's going on today? And so my question was, okay, so what about the depression? Because he would uh, constantly be falling into a state of depression because of not being able to achieve um, the love relationship that he seeks. And so they say, when he practices and embodies the love that he actually is and the love that we actually are into his human form more completely, the challenge of sorrow and depression will significantly change. And we promise this. And they then finish by saying, or she finishes by saying, we love you. Shower your planet with the love that you have always been and that you always will be. So, and then she kind of disappears and the connection is over. So, um, what I then did was kind of decoded the message, basically. And um, from a healing perspective, I would say that it is filling every every atom every level every energy field every chakra every dna strand every um essence of past uh, present and future of this particular gentleman or with um with the frequency of unconditional love now a lot of people do actually preach that in healing circles here on earth and spiritual modalities but if we look at the hard truth of it how many people actually embody this truth not many now in the case of this gentleman though we have a situation where it has yes we were I was channeling the Pleiadians on Friday for a client yeah it was a channeling that happened and I just shared what it is that happened so if you missed the front end of it then I invite you to go back and replay either on Periscope or on YouTube. And so what we've got here is that um, even though this message applies to everybody, this particular person cannot cope with being a single unit and can only thrive um, as being two people entwined as one, like in the utopian love type of relationship. So in by filling every aspect of his being with this frequency it therefore means that until that comes until that time comes excuse me that he can be alleviated further by the pain that it is actually causing him now there are many cases where we would where we would actually have had to um uninstall the connection that he had with this other time and place with this star seed connection because um, even though they, the, the beings that came through were actually um, benevolent, they, you know, benevolent, they weren't bad beings at all, and they, you know, um, they do want the best for my client and for this planet. Um, in some cases, when this is causing suffering, we do actually need to uninstall the connection. Now, the strange thing about this situation was that it was, it was not actually possible to do this. We could not uninstall the connection, okay? So, um, we do not try to override with our egos things that we are not guided to do from the primary source perspective. And in this case, we are not guided to do that. Because as you can see, there's obviously a higher purpose as to why this gentleman is suffering in the way that he is. And um, that he had to find, you know, the deeper and higher, finer metaphysical ways to deal with this situation. And in so doing, he's actually um, offering healing not only to himself, but also collectively in the planet too. So this is why we couldn't dislodge the connection. Um, I have connections to many um, other times and places, many starseed beings and um, many planetary bodies.
but for the most part I actually um, uninstalled all of those or as many as I could of those connections because it was creating suffering in my space and it wasn't conducive to the um, continuity of um, my own personal evolution. But the understanding of it was conducive. And so the healing came from understanding it and studying it. Studying it. So guys, this is what it was that happened to the gentleman in question and um, the content of the actual session. And I'm pretty sure that it might be helpful to some of you guys out there. And if some of you guys out there um, would like a, uh, a similar kind of healing or channeling in order to help you to move forward, to heal, to transform, then um, you can always PM me and um, let me know about that and uh, we can hook something up for you, no problem at all. So guys, thank you for joining. Don't forget to follow me here. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Helen Christodoulou, where loads of stuff is archived there for you. If you need to reach me, it is fusion7healing at gmail.com. So until later on this afternoon, where I will be sharing sneak peeks of my traditional Chinese medical insights, have a safe morning, evening or day. Time to go. <laughs> um, and until then, be safe, be well and above all, Allow truth to be the guiding force that is with you. Imaste be ye. It means we are primary source. Take care for now. Ciao.